Chapter 6 The European Theatre and D-Day Amidst the storm of war, a decisive moment emerged when the fate of nations hung in the balance. In the annals of history, few events hold as much significance and emotional weight as the monumental operation known as D-Day. It was the turning point in the European theatre, a daring and audacious endeavour that forever changed the course of World War II. In this chapter, we embark on a journey through the European theatre, exploring the trials, triumphs and sacrifices that defined this pivotal period. As the Allied forces confronted the formidable Nazi war machine, the European theatre emerged as a cauldron of conflict, with the fate of nations hanging in the balance. It was a theatre of immense geographical scope, encompassing diverse landscapes and testing the mettle of soldiers and civilians alike. From the shores of Normandy to the frigid battlefields of the Eastern Front, the European theatre witnessed the ebb and flow of warfare on an unprecedented scale. At the heart of this chapter lies D-Day, a monumental amphibious assault that remains etched in the collective memory of nations. With meticulous planning and unparalleled bravery, the Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy on 6 June 1944. The sheer scale and audacity of this operation demonstrated the unwavering commitment to liberating Europe from the grip of tyranny. The sacrifices made on those blood-soaked beaches were immeasurable, but they laid the foundation for a new chapter in the fight for freedom. In our exploration of the European theatre, we delve into the strategic manoeuvres, the battles and the challenges faced by the Allied forces. We witness the relentless struggle to break the German defences, from the intense fighting in the hedgerows of Normandy to the grueling urban warfare in the streets of Stalingrad. We unravel the intricate web of military strategies, the shifting alliances and the relentless pursuit of victory. Beyond the battles and campaigns, we also uncover the profound human stories that emerged from the European theatre. We bear witness to the indomitable spirit of resistance movements, the courageous acts of ordinary citizens and the resilience of nations ravaged by war. The European theatre was not merely a theatre of war, it was a crucible of humanity, where the best and worst of human nature clashed amidst the chaos of conflict. In this chapter, we also explore the consequences and aftermath of the European theatre. We examine the liberation of concentration camps, the trials of war criminals and the immense task of rebuilding shattered nations. The scars left by the European theatre still resonate today, reminding us of the horrors of war and the enduring importance of peace, justice and reconciliation. As we journey through the European theatre and the epochal event of D-Day, let us remember the immeasurable courage sacrifice and resilience displayed by those who fought and suffered during this tumultuous time. Their bravery and determination forged a path towards freedom and justice and their legacy serves as a reminder of the indomitable spirit of humanity in the face of adversity. May we never forget the valor of those who stormed the beaches of Normandy, the resilience of those who withstood the harshness of the Eastern Front and the enduring pursuit of a world where freedom and peace prevail. Section 1. North Africa and the Mediterranean Campaign The North Africa and Mediterranean Campaign were a pivotal theatre of operations during World War II, characterized by intense battles, shifting alliances and strategic maneuvering. In this section, North Africa and the Mediterranean Campaign, we delve into the key events and engagements that unfolded in this region, shaping the course of the war. Subsection The Desert War and the Battle of El Alami The Desert War in North Africa witnessed a protracted struggle between the Axis powers, led by Germany and Italy, and the Allied forces, 
primarily comprised of British Commonwealth troops. At the heart of this conflict was the Battle of El Alame, a monumental showdown that marked a turning point in the war. The Battle of El Alame, fought from October to November 1942, pitted the British Eighth Army, under the command of General Bernard Montgomery, against the German-Italian Panzer Army, led by General Erwin Rommel. It was a battle of attrition, with both sides engaged in fierce tank warfare and infantry clashes across the harsh desert terrain. The Allied forces, bolstered by increased resources and improved tactics, managed to halt the Axis advance at El Alami. Montgomery's meticulously planned defensive positions and the effective use of minefields and artillery played a crucial role in blunting Rommel's offensive capabilities. With the advantage of superior numbers and a relentless determination to prevail, the Allies launched a powerful counteroffensive that pushed the Axis forces back, inflicting heavy losses and capturing significant territory. The Battle of El Alame marked a decisive victory for the Allies, shifting the momentum in their favor and setting the stage for the eventual liberation of North Africa. Subsection Allied Invasion of Sicily and Italy Building on their success in North Africa, the Allies turned their attention to the Mediterranean theater, launching a series of amphibious invasions to liberate Sicily and mainland Italy from Axis control. The invasion of Sicily, codenamed Operation Husky, began in July 1943 and involved a massive, combined operation of land, sea, and air forces. Under the leadership of General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Allied forces consisting of British, American, and Canadian troops landed on the shores of Sicily, overwhelming the defending German and Italian forces. The invasion achieved swift success, with the Allies securing the island and establishing a foothold in the Mediterranean. The subsequent campaign to liberate mainland Italy proved to be a challenging and protracted endeavor. The Italian peninsula was heavily fortified by Axis forces, and the rugged terrain and adverse weather conditions posed significant obstacles for the advancing Allied troops. The battles for Monte Cassino, Anzio, and the Gustav Line became synonymous with the difficult and costly nature of the Italian campaign. Despite facing fierce resistance, the Allies gradually advanced northwards, liberating key cities such as Naples and Rome. The North Africa and Mediterranean campaign demonstrated the strategic significance of the region and the crucial role it played in the overall war effort. The Allied successes in North Africa and the subsequent invasion of Sicily and Italy paved the way for further advances into Europe and brought the Axis powers one step closer to ultimate defeat. The campaign showcased the skill, resilience, and determination of the soldiers and commanders involved as they overcame formidable challenges and contributed to the eventual liberation of the Mediterranean region. Section 2 D-Day and the Normandy Invasion The Normandy Invasion, famously known as D-Day, was a monumental military operation that marked a crucial turning point in World War II. In this section, D-Day and the Normandy invasion, we delve into the meticulously planned and daringly executed assault that ultimately led to the liberation of Western Europe from German occupation. Subsection Planning and Preparation for Operation Overload The planning and preparation for Operation Overload, the codename for the Normandy invasion, involved extensive coordination and meticulous attention to detail. Led by General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Allied forces embarked on an ambitious endeavor to establish a secure beachhead on the coast of Normandy and launch a massive assault against German-held territory. Months of careful planning, intelligence gathering, 
and logistical preparations were undertaken to ensure the success of the operation. The selection of the landing sites, codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno and Sword considered factors such as tides, terrain and enemy defenses. A vast array of specialized equipment, including landing craft, amphibious vehicles and aerial support, was assembled to support the invasion. The deception campaign known as Operation Bodyguard played a crucial role in misleading the Germans about the exact time and location of the invasion. The creation of a fictitious army, the deployment of dummy equipment, and the use of double agents all contributed to the success of the deception, allowing the Allies to gain a critical element of surprise. Subsection the landings and the battle for Normandy. On 6 June 1944, D-Day, the largest amphibious invasion in history was launched. In the early morning hours, under the cover of darkness and a massive naval and aerial bombardment, thousands of Allied troops descended upon the beaches of Normandy. The assault was met with fierce German resistance, resulting in intense and chaotic battles. The American forces faced the greatest challenges at Omaha Beach, where strong German defenses and unexpected obstacles caused heavy casualties and initial setbacks. However, through remarkable bravery, perseverance, and the support of naval and aerial bombardment, the American troops were able to establish a foothold and gradually push inland. The British and Canadian forces faced their own share of challenges at Gold, Juno and Sword beaches. Despite initial difficulties, they managed to secure their objectives and link up with the American forces further west, consolidating the beachhead and expanding the Allied presence in Normandy. The battle for Normandy was characterized by fierce fighting, as the Allies sought to break through the heavily fortified German defences and push inland. The hedgerow country of Normandy presented additional challenges, as the dense vegetation and interconnected fields hindered the mobility and visibility of both sides. However, through determination, tactical adjustments, and the commitment of air and armoured support, the Allies were able to gradually advance and expand their foothold. The Normandy invasion marked a significant turning point in the war, as the Allies gained a crucial foothold in Western Europe and set the stage for the liberation of France and the eventual defeat of Nazi Germany. The success of D-Day was a testament to the meticulous planning, strategic coordination, and the courage and sacrifice of the Allied troops involved. The Normandy invasion stands as a defining moment in World War II, symbolizing the beginning of the end for the Axis powers and the restoration of freedom and democracy in Europe.